Lodge me what? Lodge me nay nay. Hey everyone, Nathan E. Natano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of this new Boots album, Aquaria. This is the debut full-length album of producer and singer and songwriter Boots, who has been getting quite a bit of buzz over the past few years or so. He's been working with Beyonce on her last album, or he was working on Beyonce with her last album. He actually had a feature cut on that latest Run the Jewels record that a lot of people seem to enjoy. Seems he's sort of been climbing up the ladder, paying his dues, and now he's gotten the opportunity to drop his own, very own, full-length LP on Columbia Records. He has worked in other music projects in the past, but it seems like this new album was an important step for him artistically just to kind of hone in just simply on himself. And it's not a bad record. It's 11 tracks of an intriguing fusion of pop and rap and rock and electronic music and R&B. It's like I'm listening to a little bit of Nine Inch Nails and Trent Reznor mixed with some Damon Albarn from Gorillaz and just a touch of Tom York thrown in there too. The tunes at the core of these tracks are sharply written most of the time, but what I think steals the show and is the selling point of this record is the production. The instrumentation on this thing sounds great. Not only is it well recorded and well mixed, but it seems like Boots did a, a great job of sound crafting some of the keyboard patches and percussion that went into this record. Just take a look at the intro to the song Brooklyn Gamma. It's so huge and dramatic, layered. The synths are buzzing, the guitars have a lot of bite too, and the finish of this track is just explosive. Boots does a great job of creating some very huge, dramatic, electronic music that fuses so many styles together. The rumbling bass fits beautifully against the clickety-clackety drums on the track Cure, and the acoustic intro on the song Oracles is pretty as well. All the instrumentals across the record are really dynamic and, and varied, and Jordan knows his way around a hook as well. Pretty much every song here has a pretty distinct chorus that contrasts well from the verses. So this side of the album I really enjoy and commend. I don't even quite mind that the influences Jordan has are so painfully obvious because I guess they're executed really well. He emulates tastefully, but if there's a big Achilles heel to this record, it's that being pop music at its core, vocals take a pretty big priority and are right there on the front lines. And Jordan is not that strong of a vocalist. His vocals are not really that distinct. His range is not that impressive. And there's not really any palpable level of conviction or emotion in his vocals a lot of the time. And he's not really that great of a lyricist either. Having produced in other projects and having produced for other artists who probably have very high production demands, I could see why the production on this record is amazing. But putting himself out there in a lyrical and a vocal manner, that just seems like a muscle he hasn't uh, worked on quite as much. The angsty, monotone rap verses on this thing are not very tasteful, or the uh, poetic, poignant points that they try to make, especially when they're awash in these robotic vocal effects on the song Dead Come Running, which is the worst track on the whole record. It's a total mess. Also, the opening verse on the song Oracles, the lyrics here sounds like something Lana Del Rey would write. The lyrics feel like such an afterthought sometimes, and it's, it's a bit of a shame because the beats are so good. There are moments where Jordan reaches up into his falsetto and sort of is doing a bit of a Tom York thing, and in these moments, his singing isn't that bad and at least carries some kind of passion within it. And before I finish out this review, I do want to mention the song Earthquake, which has a bit of a down-tempo vibe to it. And the somber piano ballad on the track only is a highlight for me, too. Uh, this is not a bad LP. I could see why people are enjoying it. Again, the production, the beats are fantastic. The songs are well-structured, good choruses for the most part, but the vocals and the lyrics are supremely average. If the vocals were a little bit more riveting, I think it would have made a world of difference on this LP. Unfortunately, I think they hold back the quality of this project quite a bit, but I await the day where there are better vocal performances on a Boots project. I'm feeling a decent to strong six on this thing. Tran? Zition! Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? 
What should, why, would, why would you write it? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano. Uh, b -b 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 -b